Icons are sometimes called windows to heaven. They are created as an aid to prayer and are said to be written rather than painted and are therefore meant to be read. They are full of symbolism. The icon writer of this particular icon, Regan O'Callaghan, is from New Zealand and also happens to be an Anglican priest. His icon mixes traditional with contemporary themes. It shows St Paul offering a blessing with his right hand, but in his left hand he's holding a Bible and resting on top of it is his namesake, St Paul's Cathedral. Placing the cathedral on top of a Bible like this suggests that scripture undergirds the cathedral, what it stands for, what it teaches, and the worship that takes place inside. But it also suggests a challenge. To what extent does the cathedral, and indeed the church more widely, uphold biblical teachings? This isn't a general question. If we look at the top of the icon, we can see a green banner providing a canopy that lifts up out of the icon towards heaven. On the banner is a garland of flowers, some in bud, some in bloom. Perhaps O'Callaghan is saying something specific about the natural world, about creation. This idea is reinforced when we look back at St Paul again and examine the bird that rests on his right shoulder, its head tilted towards him. It is a striking black bird with white tipped tail feathers and a long curved beak. A huya bird. A rare bird considered sacred by the Maori people of New Zealand because its song heralded the dawn. The tail feathers were used in Maori headdresses as a sign of status and became very fashionable in Britain after the Duke of York was photographed wearing one during a state visit to New Zealand in 1901. Birds were captured and killed for the overseas market. Their forest homes were cut down by European settlers to create farmland. And by 1907, the Huya bird was extinct. The decision to put an extinct bird into this icon is a bold one. We are being confronted with one of the ways in which we humans have disregarded our responsibility to the planet. Our actions and our behaviours have resulted in temperatures rising, in ice caps melting, in forests burning and in species dying out. St Paul was a great missionary who went through many hardships to tell people about Jesus and about God's love. But he's probably most known for his experience of conversion. He changed from someone who persecuted the early followers of Jesus into a follower himself. Perhaps he is an example to us, an example of how it is possible to change from someone who destroys life into someone who brings life. I think that putting a huya bird on St Paul's shoulder is a gesture full of hope. The huya bird would sing as the sun rose. It became a symbol of new life, of resurrection. Maybe it's not too late for us to reverse the changes we have made to the planet. Maybe we can bring new life rather than destroy it.